Palahaka, the fifth month in the eighth week on the fifth day. Else callers. Is it bad to say that I don't like one of the Radiant Orders? Because I don't like Else Callers. It's not that I don't trust them, per se. It's that I don't know what they're doing, or why they're doing it, or what their final goals might be. So yes, fine, you're right. I don't trust them. Else Callers are all about potential and progress. What can you become, and how can you work to be a better version of that thing? Which sounds great and all, I guess, especially if you want to be a scholar or something. Else caller oaths and values can help you become the best scholar you can be. But what if you want to be a king? That's a bad example. Kings can be good. What if you specifically want to be a tyrant, a thief, a criminal mastermind, a murderer? The else caller oaths and values can help you to be that too. And no, I am not talking about anyone in particular. All of the else callers I know are kind. Well, maybe polite is a better word. All of the else callers I know are polite and careful, cautious, wise, certainly, and what's the word I'm looking for? It's not well-adjusted, goodness, no. Well-considered. All of the else callers I know are careful, cautious, and well-considered. That's an endorsement, right? Let's put it this way. If you have an else caller on your side, you're going to do better than if you didn't. They're smart, strategic, and capable. They know logistics, they know tactics, and they can travel through other cultures and mindsets, and literally other worlds, better than almost anyone. They're ambitious, and they have the skills and the power to back that ambition up. And if you don't have an else caller on your side, if you're so unlucky that you've got an else caller on the opposite side, well, watch out. <laughs>